Okay, with this problem, we're going to do a utility maximization and budget constraint with different con with budget constraint and difference curves. Uh, just a graph graphing question. Um, this is taken from Krugman Wells Microeconomics Second Edition, Chapter Three, which is um, the Consumer Preferences and Consumer Choice Chapter, Question Eleven. The question uh, starts with uh, Tyrone is a utility maximizer. His income is a hundred bucks, and he can spend on cafeteria meals and on notepads. So he can spend on two goods. Each meal costs five dollars at the cafeteria, and each notepad costs two dollars. Um, at these prices, Tyrone chooses to buy sixteen cafeteria meals and ten notepads. Cool. So all this is info, important info. Um, part A: Draw a diagram that shows Tyrone's choice using an indifference curve uh, and his budget line, placing notepads on the vertical axis and cafeteria meals on the horizontal axis. Label the indifference curve I sub one and the budget line BL sub one. So look what I did here. Um, so first off, we got quantity of notebooks, notepads on the vertical axis. Remember that they're two dollars each, and then quantity of cafeteria meals on the horizontal axis. And remember that they're ten dollars each. So uh, hopefully you can see everything here. Okay. So um, first is the let's do the budget constraint. So if um, we're told that Tyrone has a hundred dollars. So that means, in terms of uh, notepads, if you were to spend all this money on notepads, you'd be able to get 50 notepads. You know, it's it's uh, $100 income divided by the cost. So the intersection, the intersection on the um, notepad axis, the vertical axis, is going to be at 50. Because if he spent zero money on cafeteria mills, he will be able to buy 50 notepads. Uh, and then, where does the budget constraint? intersects on the horizontal axis on the quantity of cafeteria meals. Well, if Tyrone spends his full $100 on cafeteria meals, and each one cost, oops, costs only $5. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. So if Tyrone spent no money whatsoever on um, notepads and all of his money on cafeteria meals, he'd be able to get 20 meals. So the budget constraint is this line right here. And the idea is that any point beyond the budget constraint up into this territory is not affordable to Tyrone. And then any area within the budget constraint in this triangle down here, um, Tyrone wouldn't be maximizing his utility because he wouldn't be spending all of his income. Okay, so that's the budget constraint. Now let's think about the indifference curve. So the indifference curve we're going to place here, uh, and we're told in the question to, that Tyrone maximizes maximizing his utility uh, ends up with 10 notepads and 16 cafeteria mills. So we're going to place the indifference curve so that it's uh, tangent at the budget line at 10 notepads and 16 cafeteria mills. And then note that we know that 10 notepads and 16 cafeteria meals is, is on the budget line because if he Tyrone spends 10 bucks, sorry, if he spends part of his income on 10 notepads, each notepad costs two bucks, so that's 20 bucks being spent on notepads. Okay, so 20 bucks are being spent on notepads, 100 bucks total, so that leaves 80 dollars. Um, so with 80 dollars left, how many cafeteria meals does it get? That gets 16 cafeteria meals. So Tyrone is gonna use up all of his income. Hundred dollars buying ten notepads and sixteen cafeteria meals. So you got this indifference curve right here, exactly tangent to the budget line. <clears throat> cool. So moving on to part B, which I kind of already did down here already. Part B: the price of notepads falls to one dollar. Um, so one each notepad is a dollar each now. The price of cafeteria meals remains the same, so it's still at five dollars. And then on the same diagram, draw Tyrone's budget line um, with a, a new label BLH. Um, so labeling it with a BLH. Okay, so let's go through the steps to figure out the budget line. Um, so if the price of notepads has fallen to one, then the intersection on the horizontal, sorry, on the vertical axis is going to be at 100. So if Tyrone were to spend zero dollars on cafeteria meals and his entire one hundred dollars on um, on uh, notepads, he'd be able to buy a hundred notepads here. If Tyrone spent zero dollars on notepads, so down here, and that's full um, one hundred dollars on cafeteria meals at five dollars each, he'd be able to get twenty. So this new line right here, BL sub H, is going to be the new budget line. Um, 
given this change in price. Um, so uh, with a decrease in the price of something, you could see that the budget constraint, the budget line has expanded out. So moving on to part C. Um, lastly, Tyrone's income falls to $90. On the same diagram, draw this budget line uh, with this new income and new prices and labeled BL sub 2. Uh, and then is he worse off? So I'll get to that in a second. So let's draw the new diagram. First off, I'm going to change the color just to kind of show that it's old. So you got BLH there. Okay, so what's the new budget line going to look like? So first off, what we do is um, Tyrone has $90 now. If you were to spend all of his money on notepads, you know, each notepad costs a dollar. Spend all his money on notepads, he's going to be able to buy 90 notepads. Okay, so $90 on notepads. Um, if you were to spend all of his money on cafeteria meals, what's 90 divided by $5? That's 18. Uh, Tyrone would be able to get uh, 18 meals if you were to spend all of his $90 on just meals. So now the new budget line is the line that I'm drawing now. Hopefully you'll be able to see in a second. So this dark blue line here is the new budget line. Um, once again, if you were to spend zero dollars on cafeteria meals and all of his ninety dollars on notepads, you'd be able to buy ninety notepads because each is a dollar. Uh, and then on this inter this point over here is if you were to spend zero dollars on notepads and all of his ninety dollars on those cafeteria meals at five dollars each. So here's a new budget line. So once again, we're at this new budget line down here. B L sub one. So the dark blue line here. Okay. Is Hyrone better off or not? Well, he's gonna be better off, and hopefully I could show it to you really, really clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna draw in the new indifference curve. So remember we assume that indifference curves are always expanding out this way, and each indifference curve further out is gonna represent a higher total utility. So this is the new possible reference curve right here. And we're going to label it, uh, I think, I sub 2. OK, so this is kind of like the highest indifference curve line point um, that's still tangent to the new budget line. So is he better off at this point or not? So the kind of optimal consumption bundle is about here. So you know maybe 20, 30 or so notepads, um, and then fewer net cafeteria meals. So maybe like 15 or 14 or 13 cafeteria meals. So he's definitely increased consumption of notepads, and he's decreased consumption of cafeteria meals. So at this point, how you know what can we say? Can we be sure that he's at a at a better you know at a better point or not? Uh, and we can say we, we can be sure that he's at a, a better consumption bundle here um, with the decrease in income and lower price of notepads. Um, the reason why we could tell is, first off, think about that old point over there. You know, So this is the thing we're comparing to. Is he better off here than he was over here? So at this old point that he was at over here, um, that's still possible. You know, 10 notepads and 16 meals is still possible in uh, this setup. Um, however, he's not choosing to get this point because there's a point over here that represents this higher income at this new indifference curve point. Indifference curves, um, any indifference curve that's further out uh, away from the origin, the origin being down in this corner, any indifference curve that's further out represents higher utility. So because this new indifference curve is further out from than the old one, uh, it implies that he's at a higher utility, implying that he's better off. So the main thing is that the, we have a new budget line such that um, the old you know, point that we started off with is still possible, um, but it's, the new budget line puts us into utility space out here that's past the old indifference line. So you can see the light pink in the background is the old indifference line, and our new budget line is further deeper into the higher utility territory. So we could be absolutely certain 
that uh, this situation, you know, the lowering price of notepads uh, and unfortunately lowering income puts Tyrone at a higher income point, or sorry, higher utility, better off point. So part D asks, um, give an intuitive explanation for your answer to part C. So uh, remember there's two effects here. Um, there's the decrease in income from 100 to 90, but then there's also the decrease in price of notepads from $2 per notepad to $1 per notepad. So obviously the decrease in income from 100 to 90 uh, is potentially putting Tyrone in a better, in a worse off situation. However, the decrease in price of notepads uh, is more than compensating for this. So the decrease in the price of notepads uh, is, has increased Tyrone's purchasing power. So Tyrone's richer in like a real sense now. The fall in, his, in the price of notepads has been uh, large enough so that once he changes the consumption towards no more notepads and fewer meals, he is more than compensated for the fall in his income level. Um, you know, at this higher utility point here. Cool. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.